What up, YouTube? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Saturday's video. This is the East West Screen Tool, probably my favorite one of them all. I'm gonna be playing every single one of these, so buckle up and grab your popcorn, and I hope you enjoy. So the very first one that we have is Bike Ride. So, let's play it. Already has a very nice, happy intro to our piece. So, basically, this helps us be able to build on top of this loop and add in Many other things like the Hollywood Orchestra. Um, yeah, basically anything you want to. So as you heard in the first one, key of C right here, you have a glissando harp. Also, same thing with the uh, the D key. I think I'm trying to figure out what the difference is. I think it's a little bit louder, or the harp is doing something different. I don't know. Anyway, moving on, we have this one, uh, the E key, which is it doesn't have the harp in it. And this one, same thing, but a little bit more quieter. Um, now, when you get to A, it changes key to A, obviously. So the middle C plays C all the way up to G. And then A plays the key of A, all the way up to F. Oh, never mind, I'm wrong. Okay, so D, all the way to F, plays um, in key of F. So, um, basically you have a wide range of different keys for each one. So that's just an example. We can put on, let's put on some reverb here. Um, here's what this sounds like. Now, if you want to, you might as well just do this. They're both at the same time, but uh, yeah, that sounds disgusting. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> this is the next one, which is Bolero. So let's have a listen to this. Again, very nice. That one has a bit of a marching theme to it. Um, so the next one is D. Um, okay, without the strings. So that will basically be the midsection of the piece. Um, and then we get to this part as an outro, basically, or the ending of the piece. Um, and then there's many more you can mess around with um, to add and mix around, uh, for example, let's see what the other ones are. Kind of sounds the same. Okay, that's just brass. Sounds like it's a snare. Um, sounds like there's a clarinet in there. Strings, um, and that's without the drums. That's what it sounds like to me. Different key. So you get many different variations of that. Um, okay, so the next one is clock time. Um, here is what that sounds like. Very nice, melodic, and smooth sound. Um, there's also different keys. Okay, that one gives just a half beat, so that one's just only a short portion of it. To me, that sounds like a ending of the piece, and then there's our key change. That's the key of C, uh, key of A. Moving on to Crusade. Here we go. Here's what Crusade sounds like. <laughs> Majestic. 
Oh, hold on a minute. I gotta, I gotta get this right. Um. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the East West Story Tour. A little over the top. But they guys have Crusade. And the next one we have is Danger is There. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, there we go. Here's where we get into more suspense. And then you can add some more streams on that, or like, let's just say a piano and completely create something out of that. So let's load a piano. Um, and I have an idea here. What we're going to do is I'm going to load one of my favorite pianos. Well, right now it is the Dosendorfer. Actually, let's change it up. I always use that one. Let's use Yamaha. Get more of a bright sound. I like the Yamaha too. So while that's loading, let's go. Oh, wait, actually, I can't load two things at the same time. Way too loud. So there you have a bit of a suspense. Okay, so moving on to our next one, we have Dark Side. Whoa, that sounds something like a movie. Let me tell you, I've heard these in something. Batman, that's what it sounds like, exactly. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Of course, you have different keys. Oh. There we go. Let's play along with that. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. <laughs> I love it. All right, next one is Doomsday. Here we go. Okay. So, what can I make of that? So here's what you can do with this. We'll start with the first one. And there you go. You got a, I don't know, 30 second clip of complete orchestration right there. <laughs> um, super easy. Our next one is Emotion. That sounds happy to me. And that sounds more of a sad emotion. Here is a happy sound major. And that is our minor key, um, and that has more of a uh, sad tone to it and makes the piece feel very sad. Enchanting, I think. Oh, yes, I love this one. How do you like my opera? Rate that. So the next one is Encounter. Here we go. We're back to our minor sound. I'm not going to continue to go through all of them like that. I'm 
I'm just gonna play the first one um, to just to kind of give you an example. But they're all just different keys, different variations. But you gotta experience it for yourself. And the next one is Under the Fair. <clears throat> Thank you guys for coming and have a great day. Bye. This one is called Oh wow, that's a big name. Uh Phantasmagoric. I think I said that right. Phantasmagoric. The final determination. Yeah, that explains everything. Ta-da! Final Sky! What does this sound like? Hmm. Okay. Nice. Nice. So that's what a flying star sounds like. Ha ha! Ha <laughs> Happy hour. This has a very, uh, very classical, I would say. Okay, those are all different keys. High landscape. Ooh. Oh, I like that. I so forgot about all these. This one is called Improvisitation Nude. That's just three piece, okay. Whatever. Um <laughs> Kane Arthur. All hail to Kane Arthur. And something else you could also do is mix these together. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> so basically you have this part. And then this part. Mix those together, you get this. And also, those two. And that has more strings, so now, we mix those four together, now this one, that's a different key. Okay, so these four, D through G, mix those together, you get this. Sometimes it's not an offbeat there, but anyway, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's fly. This one is cool, too, I remember this. But you know what? That's a different kind of arrangement of uh, enchanting. Slower. Oh, <laughs> very Western. This one's called Magic Start. <laughs> I like that. Very nice. I like it. Meditation. Missed arpeggio. Whoa. Hey, let's do this. Okay, there's three different keys. Okay, so now put a different key in.
Okay, so there's that. Um, and now, here is key of G. I'm getting carried away because <laughs> I just love it. I'm in the moment. All right. Nice. Okay. So let's go to the next one, Mystery House. Uh, what does it sound like? Oh, I love that piano part. Okay, so New York, relax. How much more do we have? Okay, so not too much more. Um, this is New York, relax. Very jazzy. I have an idea. This one is called Nobody Here, um, yeah, because uh, totally nobody is here right now. Sounds like a mystery. Open theme. Bro, actually, I have used this in a very old song that I've never made public. Think, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um, unless you don't have any background music, that can get annoying. Uh, romance Afternoon. Okay, <laughs> I have to play something with this. has more of a waltz sound to it. I'm gonna save this one too, I like that. Uh, Romance Evening. Yeah, this one. Very similar. But 
there's um, two different versions. One for the afternoon, and then one for the evening. So there you go. You got two choices. Now, for a sad story. This is a popular one. So if you've heard this, now you know where it comes from. <laughs> Score and Jewel by East West. Yeah. Sorry, it's supposed to be sad. Version. Sorry, it's hard for me to be said. <laughs> Strings, piano. You can create a great emotional piece. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay, moving on. Interesting one. Slow judgment. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Snare Army. Oh, you already know what this is going to sound like. Uh -huh. So that's a cool one. <laughs> I like that. Start engine. Oh. Oh. What a minute. Okay, it gets annoying after a while, <laughs> but very cool. I like that. Um, East. Oh, I meant to turn that one off. Okay, this is one. Uh, this one's called Star Story. Prologue to an epic adventure. Okay, nice. Strauss War. Hey, look, it's Strauss. Haha, <laughs> he composes. I'm kidding. I don't know. He's been dead for years, but anyway, uh, this is Strauss War. I really don't know where they come up with these names, but they're getting paid somehow. Anyway, <laughs> that's actually, yeah, that sounds just like Strauss, the man himself. Ta da! <laughs> There you go. Trust for you right there. Okay, uh, we have just a few left. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this so far. And if you are, leave a like. And I have five minutes left on my SD card, so let's play these really fast. Um, I think we're happy. Um, here we go. Like it. Uh, the rival. Very similar to the Keen one, whatever that's at. Uh, thanks, me. I don't know who comes up with these names. Okay, Walk Happy. Nice. War Status. And then the last but not least is Western. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. That's going to conclude today's video on the East-West 
scoring tools. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have to keep pressing that. And thank you for tuning in and staying for this long. And I hope you guys subscribe and turn on the post notifications. And I will see you on Sunday's video. And until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm signing off. And I'll see you next time. Woo! Okay, goodbye.